All right, so we got another sort of random here today. I am, where am I? I'm uh, just off the corner of 12th Street and 14th Avenue Southwest, Calgary, Alberta. Got a beautiful red brick, what looks like is currently a two-story, and then they added an extra floor in the, uh, in the attic space. But uh, as you can see, stairs going up. Uh, big, huge window there arched window, arched door, and then the brick detail above is sort of an arched brickwork as well. I don't know if you're picking up on that. And then that big window there as well, big arched window. And then these as well, arched window, arched window, and what I think was formerly a window, now a door, arched as well. And even that top one, arched window. And they've covered all this with siding and shingles nice detailing on it but i'm sure that at one point there was brick under there and then this is an addition an afterthought because it's partially covering up the, the brick arch work there but beautiful old house i was talking to a fellow that was living next door and he said he's pretty sure that the house he lives in or rents next door is also a red brick covered in siding but a beautiful beautiful old house 1900, 1920 maybe? I know, I know a business bought out, so we get changed into a business office. Oh, they're going to turn it into offices, so they're not going to knock it down, they're going to no, keep it. this is probably the only one they go to. Nice, I'm glad they're going to keep it. Look, look you hardly ever see arched windows. Yeah. Even on the side, even that door has got an arched top on that side door too. That's probably why they're keeping it, because it's got a lot of the original there's detail. The That's it. Right. You know, work back then was... Fucking, it was good workmanship. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, the brick masons were, they did some amazing stuff way back then. But I would have uh, thought that some developer would have tried buying all four of them and knocking it all down eh, for a condo. Oh, yeah. That's more often that's what they do, isn't it? They yeah. just, they don't give a crap about these beautiful old buildings. They just think of them as eyesores. And then people like you and I come along and we notice all the beautiful details and, you know, we kind of appreciate these older buildings, right? So is it, there's people still living in it yes, right now, they, right? Yeah. Uh, they, it's sold, right? Right. But they're still got, uh, the leases that these people have are still valid, right? Even oh, okay. The house got sold. Yeah, so they have to wait until their yeah. lease expires. And they're not going to try to kick them out anytime. Nah, especially not during the, the whole COVID thing, yeah. you know, just kick people out. <laughs> it's kind of shitty. <laughs> In fact, the one guy was saying that uh, the company actually is, out looking for a place for him and to go pay a little bit more than what he just uh, paid up to here. So. Oh really? So they're going to help them relocate? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Right. Yeah, what don't a, see that very often. Either. Yeah, usually they're just like, see ya, wouldn't want to be ya. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a great old building. I'm going to scoot around the alley and take a picture of the back too because it looks pretty cool. But yeah, look at that awesome arched doorway. Really awesome. All right, so here we are at the back of the building, and I just bumped into the gentleman who bought this building, who owns it now. He's a business owner, and there's three or four contractors with him, and they were inside checking it out, what walls were original that they're going to keep. Um, they added four suites into this, so he says there's walls that they put up that they're going to knock down, and he's going to restore it. He says he's going to try to get it back as close to original as possible. He's going to keep it brick. Um, he's going to take tear down this. He's going to expose that window that's under there. There is a window underneath there. And he's just going to put a stairway up here. They are going to keep the front porch, covered porch or deck, but they're going to they're actually going to tear it down and rebuild a new one out of new lumber. Uh, so that's going to stay. But they also re he said they researched uh, with the historical society of what color the trim was around these windows and they're going to go back to that original color. But he's keeping the brick which is incredible so I thanked him very much for not buying it and knocking it down and he said no he loves these old buildings and he uh, he's born and raised here in Calgary and he says he loves the city and he loves these old buildings and he wants to keep them he wants them to stay so but you can see here arched windows even at the back arched windows and there's you couldn't really see it too well from the side but here at the back you can see arched door as well so very very unique I I don't recall here in Calgary seeing any old buildings old houses or otherwise that had the arched door like that that 
it's still the arch door. I mean, obviously they framed it in square, but you know, the arch above the door is highly, highly unusual. So yeah, and there is a window under there and then you can see the J pipes coming out. But uh, he said, yeah, more than welcome to take shots around the outside of the building. Let's have a look underneath here. Yeah, you can see there's a window that's been blocked in there. So he's gonna re-expose that. Here's the side. All of these windows are arched and that one side door is arched as well. So really neat, really, really incredible. In fact, I've got permission, so hey, why not? Let's have a look through here the inside. So there's a shooting right down, nice and low, sort of a half window, uh, blocked in, used as a utility, utility uh, access point. But again, it's, you know, it's, it used to be an arched window. This one's boxed in, but again, arched window. Above that, smaller window, arched window. And here's that door. And it's at grade or ground level. Arched doorway. Again, it's been squared off, but I mean, it's beautiful. Another low window. This one still has the glass in it. And this, I'm not sure what that is. I'm too short to reach it to see what that is. If that's concrete, it's been retrofitted. Here's one here. It's concrete or yeah, that's not sandstone, that's concrete. So these may have been added in later on. It looks like yeah, there's some spray foam insulation in there. There's some wood shimming in there, but so I don't know if maybe there was sandstone here that they removed because it was staining the brick, which happens a lot, so perhaps that's what they did as a fix. Yeah, just a gorgeous old building. There's some of the detail here in the front. Front doors arch above it as well. All these windows are arched. They're just beautiful brickwork. And again, this is really low, right? So it's encroaching on that arch detail of the brick. So obviously this was a little bit more of a modern addition, but so he said they're gonna keep this and just redo it so that it's nicer and uh, using better lumber and so on, because this is just the crappy vinyl and aluminum stuff. But let's see if we can see what's under here. Uh, all kinds of debris piled up under there. I don't know if you can see that or not. Probably not. It's too dark under there, but there's debris piled up against the building, so I don't know. It's hard to see if there was a window or something under there. I imagine there was, because that other... The, the back porch had a window on it, so... But yeah, just a great old building. Beautiful lead, leaded windows here. Look at the stained glass in the leaded window. So, yeah, great news that uh, this was purchased by a company and they're going to keep it as is. In fact, try to restore it as much as they can back to pretty close to original. He said they'll try to get it about 80%, which is, which is great, rather than knocking it down. So, yeah, terrific old building. So there you go. Another assorted random. So let me know what you think. Take care and uh, have a good one.